Summers? He's a good buddy. He's a good buddy. We're back in Palm Beach today. We're going to go back and look at this beautiful 785 gallon reef. All the cabinetry is now done. And it's a really nice day, a little breezy here in Palm Beach. And look, there's surf. We should have brought our surfboards. So when we were here previously in the last video, we went over all the extensive amount of planning and construction and bringing the glass down the staircase and just the building of the aquarium down here, the layering of it up on top of the stand and millwork and everything. It was really an intense project to get it down here. And now the finished product is just outstanding. We have over 800 gallons of operating water. You can't hear a thing. It's virtually silent. And there's a lot of water flow going on. Two Abyss 400s operating. There's four NP60s flowing right now. And it is just beautiful. Look at this millwork. So it's vertical glass behind these doors. And it's painted white on the back side of it. You get a good look at it. The aquarium's really balancing in super well. But I'll show you how these doors open up. Just look how, how pretty this is. Look how big that door is. That's something else. Real nice, clean. Super duty, heavy duty hinges, pocket hinges, they're hidden. So they make a big difference in the weight load of this heavy door. And we uh, close it up real nice and clean. Wow, that's super. So the other door we'll show you right here, this opens up to access for the filtration. Here, the Deltec skimmer, floss is all nice and clean down there. The clear water scrubber is doing a great job. And just look at how great all the fish are doing now. Those green singularias are opening up and doing super well now. There's been some new fish added, a couple clowns here. They are really pretty. They had just been added to the aquarium. And down this way, we have a lot of fish that are new and corals. There's a couple of uh, trachophilias, a red one and a green one right here, opening really nice. There's an Australian green bubble coral right down there, doing really super well. Another acanophilia right here, green and red. Just fabulous, very clean, very quiet. It's a beautiful aquarium. So we had a couple questions about the aquarium. Uh, one person was asking um, why so many radions up there? There's eight of them. And the main reason why is we have a lot of distance. So we really wanted to have a good spread over the full distance. So there's eight of them in the aquarium above. And um, somebody asked too, you know, why wouldn't you have chosen acrylic? It'd be a lot lighter to put in place and all. And really our preference is to build uh, reef aquariums in glass. It's, it's much more durable, less very scratch resistant. And uh, whether it's glass or acrylic, you still have to be careful. You don't want to scratch the aquarium. But glass is how I've been building for so many years. I've been building glass aquariums for over 50 years. And it's just, you know, it's a feat to pull off the construction of this aquarium with a so-called complex scenario bringing the glass down the stairs. So we have an, another really special fish going in today and we're going to acclimate them and put them into the aquarium. Uh, Miss Jolene has brought with her a, a really fabulous Midas Blenny. Got a couple little friends in there. Look at that. She's saying, who are you? Can't wait to meet you. I think we need to acclimate them in a little bit. Oh look, they're all saying hello. Hey, it's a greening crew. It's the, the, greening, the, crew. the greening crew. Yeah, <laughs> the green chromas are like wondering, hey, come on, join the party. Midas Blendy are a really great fish. They have eat turf algae. They go around. They're, they're really a friendly fish, actually, but they go around and they just eat little bits of algae in the aquarium. We've had this uh, Midas Blendy acclimated for about 15 minutes. Just for temperature, he was in quarantine in our facility in a reef aquarium for the last month and he's doing great. So we literally are gonna give him a little wash here. And here he goes, we're gonna let him out. Here he goes. He wants to hang out with the rest of the fish. After 
After all the heavy lifting is done, the aquarium is built, it's really nice to be able to sit back and look at the aquarium and just wonder what else is going to the aquarium. So we're gonna ask Jolene today, what fish should we put into the aquarium? I think um, under these cable wonders that we have over here, it would be really amazing to put some royal brahmas that go in there and kind of like live upside down. Bangai cardinals are really nice too oh. because they go in a school and they kind of hang out and don't swim too fast. And how many Bangai cardinals should we put in? Four or five. Maybe six. Six bangais? We probably need 10 anthias. At least, yeah. And they add some nice orangish, bright yellow colors and a pop of the dark orange. Fabulous. And a friend for that other fire fish over there. He looks like he wants a bloody. The key is, is that take her time. And you know, it's really a, a, a year to two year process of filling out a really beautiful reef aquarium. Makes you look like, feel like you're in a Key West home or the ocean's right outside your back door, which is exactly what you have. Maybe, maybe we should high five about that.